Mm-hmm. When they had that leak, it was a nightmare. They started, I thought, with field corn. I'm not sure when they changed to seed corn. The town was never aware of any permission to do this. We have our own well for water, and they hit water at 40 feet. And in a million years, you're not going to convince me that after two or three years of all of this toxin leaching into the ground with no barrier, that that groundwater won't be contaminated to a degree. I have a video that shows them installing one of the liners in the lagoons when they first did the lagoons. Mm -hmm. And the, the liner was torn when they put it in. It was already torn. So it's been leaking forever. Up to 98%. Yeah. Yep. all created seed corn in North America, not just yes. the United States, but like Mexico, the United States and Canada was was being funneled into Little Mead, Mead Nebraska, a village yep. of like 700 folks, 500 to 700 folks, right? Yes. Poisoning. I mean, mm, it is. You, you're being funneled all the poisonous waste from large manufacturers like Bayer and Syngenta, mm-hmm. multi-billion dollar agricultural facilities, you know? Yeah. yeah well, we- ground conditioner is not regulated. It's not regulated like fertilizers, etc., are. So when they labeled it ground conditioner, they were able to bypass having to have all these regulations put on them and no department knew exactly what to do. This all began sort of uh, with the bees. They were finding the collapsed colonies and the, the manner in which they were finding the dead bees, they were having they were having their tongues stuck out, and that's a, kind of a, a neurological type of sign that uh, uh-huh. the, the the bees were experiencing a poisoning. I have coughed for three years, coughed and congested for three years. I finally went to a specialist. He said uh, he was pretty sure it was environmental. got a private donor and they are funding health screenings for us out here, water testing, soil testing, wildlife testing, and production animals because I've been trying to get the Department of Ag to get back to me about the cattle at Mead Cattle Company. It's the same area, the same people did own it. Um, what if some of that stuff blew onto their food and they eat it and then we're going to eat those cattle? Yeah. All 10 isn't supposed to, they have to be the ones to clean it up. But I still worry about them declaring bankruptcy and walking away since they did it once. 
there's no compliance and there seems to be no punishment. Everybody just has this attitude that it's not going to affect us. It'll yeah. affect Ashland and Gretna and well, West mm -hmm. Omaha towards the south and Lincoln and all the towns further down. In your opinion, has Alton forfeited its ability to clean this up? Yes. Should this be in the state of Nebraska's hands at this point? Do you feel that Nebraska has forfeited its ability as well? Probably, yeah. I think the federal government needs to step in and do whatever they need to do 